I'm in the beautiful market town of Cowbridge, which is in the Vale of Glamorgan, which is in fact in South Wales. Now, I'm here to talk to local independent traders on the high street about the big stories of the day and the stories which matter to them. Now, I'd usually start my day with something like a coffee, but this Monday morning I'm going with something a little bit stronger. I'm here at the wine merchant and I'm hoping that they're in, as I've been told that the wine merchant is somebody who's really seen people's spending habits change over the last two years. They've really been able to gauge what people are spending their money on. So let's see if they're in. Oh, they are. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, morning. Richard. Morning. Thank you for joining us My on pleasure. GB News, on live on telly and on radio. Would you mind popping outside and having a quick chat? I think we should enjoy some of the South Wales sunshine this morning and just get a little bit of uh, fresh air. So come and have a come and have a stand over here. We've got a couple of things to talk about. Now, I've heard you've really been able to gauge how people's spending habits have changed over the last two years, particularly selling wine. Can you just explain that to me a little bit? Well, two years ago, it all kicked off for us. Uh, lockdown was super busy. We had that kind of perfect storm of the pubs being closed, uh, beautiful weather. We were busier than we've ever been, and it was just a fantastic time. And during that period, we've managed to keep hold of many of our very good customers. Um, and since then, it's just kind of it's calmed down a little bit. So the cost of living crisis is something that has really affected your business, I think, slightly, because people, I guess, have been looking at their finances, seeing what you know really is a necessity. Are you a little bit worried about how the cost of living crisis is affecting your business in particular on the high street? Yeah, I'm not particularly worried about it too much. Uh, I think since the end of February, things have slowed down a little bit. And I think that a lot of, a lot of that is to do with the cost of living crisis. You know, people's fuel bills are going up and that's probably the most important thing. So at the end of the day, what's left, we are a little bit discretionary. So I'm not overly concerned, but it's just, yeah, just a, a very, very minor way. And the cost of living crisis to you personally, you don't reckon actually that it's that big of a deal, do you? When it comes to the price of our fuel and, and food going up, you're not too bothered from what you've sold to me? Oh, I'm not overly bothered about it. I mean, petrol's gone up a little bit, but it's, it always goes up and down. It's, uh, it's a big thing if you're, a, if you're a commuter, but actually here in Cowbridge, it's not such a big deal, if I'm honest. And, and, okay. and, and for me personally, fuel bills have gone up a little bit, but we'll just have to try and save other ways. And how is the high street here doing in particularly? Because I know that it was you know, an award-winning high street at one point in 2017, but how are businesses doing? I think we've seen footfall go down a little bit. Uh, I think Saturday, the whole, even though it was a really sunny day, it actually looked quite quiet in the town in certain points. Um, and I speak to a lot of the other traders and they're feeling the pinch as well a little bit, yes. Well, lovely stuff. Thank you so much for joining us on The Breakfast Programme this pleasure. morning, Richard. Next up, I'm going to head to a travel agent. Hopefully I can get you some decent deals on your summer holidays. If you've got anything in mind, do let me know. But for now, back to you.